Happy New Year and welcome back everybody. Alright, so fresh start to the year and we're going to get some, some good work done today. Uh, our plan is to prep this thing so we can actually swing the landing gear today and then to do so we're going to use we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on the jacks uh we got two for the two that go underneath near the the main gears and then one up near the nose and so we're gonna we're gonna service the jacks first because we don't want any issues with those uh while we're while she's up and so we can actually swing the gear uh, that and uh probably put some panels on the jet today so uh let's see what we got To the airplane is, is what matters. There we go. Aim it at the nose wheel. Good. 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 Down. Oh, hey, the gear's coming up. Yep. The strut's extended. Yep. Nice. You have contact up there yep. uh, under, under the kitty litter. Do we need to sweep that there? <laughs> Maybe should have thought about that before we got this far. Well, right a little there. bit. I can relieve the pressure and let it up. All right, we got it seated. I guess so. Only got two. You're making almost full contact on these back pads. All right. So. That's good. All right. A little more pressure? Uh, no. You want to just leave it? Yeah, go ahead and lock it down. All right. We're at that point now. Sure. Jack it up. Once they're done, we got the... Missing two. Oh, the stretch panel is through. We got the bay doors up too, and we for them to get done before we... And that brake stack needs to get reinstalled too. No, it doesn't. No? No. no still waiting on the new tire. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh. All right, so I wandered off to the other hangar to put the battery charger on the on the hydraulic mule here. Is uh, definitely want to keep that uh, topped off, ready to go, so this thing will start for us. Because we definitely need this next week when we cycle the gear. We're actually going to swing the gear a few times, and that's what the jacks are for that we just installed underneath the aircraft. Um, looking forward to seeing that in action. So, but want to make sure the battery is uh, ready to go for cranking this thing up. So those of you who are in the DCS world have likely have already seen the, uh, the Eagle Dynamics uh, 2023 and beyond video where the F4 made a very nice showing in there. And uh, even if you're not into flight simulation, I'm gonna leave a link right up here uh, to that video as uh, 
the F4E is under development and likely will be released this year. So I'm looking forward to actually uh, showcasing that here on the channel and also on the, uh, uh, when I, whenever I do the DCS content. So uh, it's, go check that out. It's, it was very well done and the F4 made a very nice showing. Uh, in addition to the other F4, the Corsair, something else I'm looking forward to in that. Other things you guys can look forward to is, I'm in this for the long term, uh, dealing with the, uh, the Phantom here. And as long as it's here and I still live here, I'm going to continue helping out working on this thing uh, and featuring it here on the channel for you guys. Uh, I know this has been, uh, a lot of you guys have really enjoyed seeing the Phantom here. And part of that is uh, unofficially, I'm working on crew chief qualifications. So I'm actually going through uh, working with crew chief Al and doing all the tasks that I need to do in order to uh, unofficially get qualified in this. I know the Air Force doesn't uh, uh, have any qualified F4 guys anymore, but that's something I'm working on. You guys can look forward to seeing that because uh, like I said, I'm going to be involved with this thing for quite some time. So hope you guys enjoy this and for the long run. That's all we got for today, folks. Thanks for watching.